Hey everybody, welcome to the Romantic Podcast. My name is Zach. Uh, I'm your host. He's a good host. Yeah, I have uh, with Not me. a good host. Tristan. Brady. Hey, <laughs> my name. If you don't know, I don't, I don't know if he didn't get this, but he pointed his hand at us mm-hmm. and told us to like give yeah. our names. Yeah. And, and I don't know if you thought there was a camera. No, I, I didn't, but I just, <laughs> I wanted to make sure that you guys. Okay. Oh, knew. thanks. So man. suffice okay. to say, um, We've probably made a huge mistake uh, in doing this because we are all socially inept. But uh, you know who aren't uh, socially inept? Uh, who isn't? Uh, celebrities, right? Celebrities, celebrities. are. Yeah, okay. you know the media's yeah, dogs, they, they, whatever. They have media like, dogs. Yeah. Are we media. talking about? Are we going to talk about celebrity dogs? No. Uh, well, I heard Air Bud's really gotten into drugs recently. Like different the different guy's got to get his act together. He's got a whole family hand. of buddies. Let me tell you. Uh. No, but uh, um, Some celebrity what we're going to talk about, though, is uh, if you're a celebrity you'd want to be, who would it be and why? So that, oh, man. What? Yeah. A celebrity you'd want to be? Jesus. Damn, that got deep. Not really. I'd want to be... No, um, then, not really. I think you'd want to be Kermit the Frog. <laughs> he already looks like it. He's, he's well, not he's look like it's... Kermit the Frog. I don't know. Now everyone's going to think oh, I no, look like Kermit like, the Frog. You'd like to be the one shoving your hand up someone's ass. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. You you'd be like a uh, stage actor too in the background in a gay porno. No, <laughs> I'd want to be uh, Maurice Lamar because or Lamarck because his voice is just fucking great. Oh yeah, yeah. I would say like Sam Elliott or Matthew McConaughey. Great voices, and they make everything sound deep. I drive a Lincoln. <laughs> oh, he does do the Lincoln commercials. Oh, he does it all. He does the Lincoln commercials, and Sam Elliott does the Ram commercials. L- I, Maurice Lamar does is the Lexus guy. You know, the, the Lexus guy's guy? like, yeah, remember this? You know, who, who is he? Who is it? Who He's is? a voice actor. He's has he what? Has he played anything? I would know. You ever watch Pinky and the Brain? <laughs> no. Futurama. Yeah. No. Um, oh, no. Uh, speaking of voice acting, uh, our little baby Tristan over here. I'm uh, little baby Tristan. Don't you ever speak out of turn. Little baby Tristan. You speak out of turn again, you're gonna become a eunuch. I'm gonna get really bad at technology. What do you? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anyway, Tristan over here uh, took a voice acting class the other day. Just tell us about that, Tristan, because you never really did in any of the discords. Well, you told me. I he did. Told me quite a First bit of all, it. I told him. Terrible friend. No, you never told Terrible me. Terrible friend. You never told me. Second of all, that's okay. Boring podcast. Hey. <laughs> Boring. We're pod- asking you. <laughs> Boring podcast. We're um, asking you. You better tell us. It was good. It was good? Yeah, it was good. Tell us about, a little bit about it. The moment you walked into the door, what did you notice? Yeah, what did you know? Um, so when I walked in, the building looked kind of crappy. Was then it, I walked in. Well, yeah, yeah it, was, it was like, uh, it was like that. Well, game, was it, it like the game class thing we, we were in? No, that was, that was cool. Well, it was like, well, it wasn't cool. It actually. wasn't that, really that, cool. That class pretty, actually ate balls. But they, the, the only computers they had were like little crappy, like MacBooks. When I like, I walked in and it was like, it was like a, like stained couch and like, <laughs> yeah. And like, a, you know, in what f- and like a fake plant and in like what way it sounds like a stained. recording space. <laughs> like, you know, you know, someone didn't jack off on it, but it looked like they did. <laughs> okay. did what does that mean? That it looked like they did. I don't know, no, it was like, because it's like gross and st- like mystery stains, but like it's in the middle of a lobby, so you're like, oh, I bet no one mystery. went to town on that. That's either there's rule. Yeah, and there's or... like, there's like, you know, fake plants and like dirty rug and, you know, and like, like freaking like wallpaper peeling off and crap. Not, well, no, probably not that extreme. Ow. You dropped something on my foot. It was, no. a, it was an anvil. It was a tiny pencil. It was an anvil. He dropped it. Ooh, Ow. No, it's like, I don't know, I, th- I thought, it was like, I looked at this and I was like, this isn't what I'm expecting at all. And then I fucking, I went down the hallway and I went in their sound room and the sound room's goddamn cool. The sound room's fucking awesome. Oh, was it? Yeah. Did it have like a, like a, a sound booth thing kind of thing, right? 
It was like a it wasn't, to go in. It, it was just like covered in foam. No, actually, there was alone. no foam. There was no foam. There was no foam. It was was it was the room. It just wasn't like at all what I was expecting. I thought it was going to be like a legit booth. What it was was it was more like a stage. It was like a it was like a it was like one half of the room was all black with like some instruments and like that right. stuff. And the other side of the room was like wood. It was like a, it was like it was carpeted. It had like a nice like seventies carpet. It was, was like, it more like for acoustic kind of stuff. Or? Kinda. It was sounded great in there. It was like, it was just like immediately. Was, was it like, like the perfect, perfect combination of it, like yeah. echo and? It just yeah. It immediately went from like sounding perfectly normal to like sounding awesome. And it's like yeah, it had like a little like stage almost that you'd have to walk up, and there was like wood everywhere and like uh, these really like big ass doors and like right. carpeting on the walls and everything. And it sounded great in there. It was great. Yeah, and then it was—I don't know—it was a great. That's weird. I, I expected it to have like some like room that you walked into. I—I I, I mean, that's all I know about. Like, I would have thought it studios. was like a, one of those like Catholic confession booths where like you're sitting in one and there's like a wall between you and the other guys there. And, and the microphones. And yeah, that. and he like he like close his eyes and go like, okay, now my child, do a Ren and Stimpy impression. <laughs> do Ren and Stimpy impression. What? Yeah, do a Ren and Stimpy impression. No. Our, our audience... <laughs> <laughs> Why would I do that? Our audience demands it. Our, what audience? What, are you? Yeah. You listening to this while masturbating at like 2 I mean, o'clock it, in the morning? I mean, really, that is kind of an audience, right? Yank and you prick. He's the audience. We mm-hmm. are the audience. You are the audience. <laughs> We're the only people who are going to listen to this. Yes. Yep. So, so this um, is my show, my idea, my baby, my child. Wait, was there, was there probably like, like insulation in the walls or something? Was that what? Was that it? I don't, know. I don't. I don't know. I didn't like go to the wall with an axe and to find out in the microphone. Uh, microphone. God, the microphone. I'd suck off a thousand men to have that microphone. <laughs> suck off a thousand what? Men. Oh. God. It was, no. <laughs> it was, uh, well, it was like, let's get started. <clears throat> it was like a. It was like a really nice like three thousand dollar mic and like they did gave. It pop, did it have a pop filter? Yeah, it did. It had it a pop filter and like, like a, it was on like a shock mount and it had a pop filter and it was like, and um and they gave you like these really great like three hundred dollar like headphones where you could hear yourself talking, like and like that, except yeah, a little like bit. those not, probably but, not as delayed like those but good. <laughs> but and then like put it on and like, like those but good. <laughs> well, <laughs> like two. Well, 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 <laughs> considering no, that kidding. sounds only coming out of one now. Well, it's because you don't have that one on your ear. There you go. Is it good now? Good now? Yeah. Okay. Um, no, but it was like, and when they put the headphones on, that room went from like sounding really good to sounding goddamn amazing. Really? Yeah. Like the room or just your voice? Just like my voice. Like I couldn't believe <laughs> did it, it. Did it sound like better than just hearing your own voice yeah, normally? <laughs> it did. That's how I feel when I like listen to any to, like if i if i get really close to the mic you would have creamed your jeans oh i did just you are so because like you're so into like mics and like voices and everything that like right, right. if you had put the headphones on and like talked into like the three thousand dollar mic it would have been like oh my god to. and then you go into like the sound room the sound room is so cool the sound room is so cool they got like these they got like these big ass speakers coming out of the wall and everything's like wood and like carpet and they have like a soundboard. It's like, it's like literally like studio. Like, the soundboard like, is literally the length. It's okay. probably a little longer than your entertainment center. That's right there. Jesus Christ! Did it have like all the? Um, I don't know if you if you know what I'm talking about. Like so yeah, my, yeah. My they had like they had like those, and they were like they were like this big, and they had like four of them. <laughs> Did they I love like, how you guys are pointing out things around us that no one else can see. I'm oh, sorry, no. it's, a, it's yeah. like, and then going like, "Oh, it's, it's this it's, big!" Like, oh, it's a mixer just, board, and it was like, it was it's a, like the XLR inputs. If you they had like, yeah, they had like those, but like they were like the size of like two Xbox on like stacked on top of each other, and they had like four of them. That's what that's I'm sweet. To say. Yeah, yeah it's, that's I, great. I, that's weird. I never heard of a. A recording, a recording studio or whatever being outside of a booth or anything. Yeah. I've never seen one. I mean, it was cool. It was really cool. But yeah, no. That's not... That's, um, what, what, was the, what, what was the name of that game class? Or where was it? Uh, it was at the uh, Her- Hirshhorn. Hirshhorn, yeah. Which is a uh, museum um, in D.C. Fairly unorganized. and Yeah, uh, it was bad. Yeah, we quit about... It was bad. Halfway through. <sighs> it was, it was yes. sad because like... 
teachers were just trying too hard, man. They were. Well, actually, I, I feel like they were trying as hard as they could, but it was two what, people. They were... And then, like, like 15 completely, like... They were. They Kids were. Have no idea what they're doing. They were trying hard, but in all the wrong parts mm -hmm. of yeah, the class. Yeah, like definitely. instead of trying to like, it's trying instead of like trying really hard to like teach us stuff, they were just trying really hard to like be millennials <clears throat> and just be like, "Hey, kids, yeah, skateboards." Right. Am I right? And we're like, and we're all like, <laughs> "He's like, oh man, this is totes on fleek," and we're like, "I don't even know what that means." I came in here to make games. Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah, it was it was pretty it was bad. bad. I quit. Bad. I mean, they had their uh, they had a sound booth in there, right? Oh. I was about to get to that. Remember, they had like a sound booth in there, and you told me they built that for my brother. Yeah, the for your brother, for him. They that, built that for. They him. built that specifically because um, did he go there often? He had a uh, I don't know if it was I don't think it was every day, but it was at least two or three times a it was like at least two times a week. I don't know, whatever. But he had a a radio show there for a little bit. You know, no one listened to it, but like me. So it was like on the, it was on Hirshhorn.com <laughs> slash, slash name of his radio show. I think it was question right. mark. But he had yeah, he he had a radio show and they used to record it in like this weird basement area of the Hirshhorn. But that like sucked. So yeah, they they built him a they built a, that they built that sound booth just for uh, just for his That's radio nice. show. Did they have foam in it? I forgot. Yeah, there was like I yeah, they did. It. It was. And they had like a mic stand or something. It was like small, that. but it was cool. It's like it was like yeah. It was like they had like a they had like a computer, a, like a little mixer thing, a mic, and then like they had some foam in there and like a little did, window. They didn't buy the mic for him though, did they? No, I think the mic. Yeah, I think the mic was already there. They're not gonna be like, oh, oh question so they, they marks on. The yeah, like, they didn't buy the equipment. Can yeah. we, yeah. could we say Jesus? Could we possibly get that booth and use it? That would be nice, but be nice. I'm going to spend put two hundred dollars on this room as soon as I can. Oh. To completely soundproof this thing. Well, you probably need it. Actually, I would love to tear down these panels Grady. and then build like a room in the corner. Grady, for Christmas, I'm gonna give you like I'm gonna give you like what what is what is the what is the deal you found where it was like however many for however many dollars? I think it was ninety two. No, uh, no, no, the one that's not ninety six. The one that's not ninety dollars. Uh, it was forty eight. Uh, 48, uh, 48 pack for 50 bucks. And it was like 12, 12, well, I'll, 12 You know what? I'll dish out $100 and pack. get you 80 panels for Christmas. <laughs> Thank nice. you, man. Because I really... Well, I mean, if, if you want... I, the other one was better. Get a door. Just just saying. That's well, what I... Yeah, get doors, a door. door he had door, he, he removed the door from this room. And you can hear like... God damn. <laughs> you can hear like a pin <laughs> drop up the there. Oh. For a while, I thought the vents were carrying sound everywhere, but like it turns no. out that's not the case at all. In, in case uh, they're also closed. Yeah. So it's and painted you... over. Painted over. Yeah. It's the fact that you don't have a goddamn door. I know. Oh, you have a blanket. I don't know if you noticed, but these panels on the wall. <laughs> they're like you not can't real. Really see, but oh, they're it's like, like the... they're not real wood. <laughs> oh, it's like, like they're repeated patterns. It's the same pattern. That's... Yeah, it is. I would. It's, ah, it's... I would never have noticed that. Oh, ew. Yeah, exactly. I I never liked these panels. No. No, they're like fake wood panels that go on the walls. Well, I mean, I like I liked them, and now it's just like, oh, woo. I can't, I'm, not, I'm like, now it's weird because like I look around and I see like the same shape, and I'm like, oh, I don't yeah. like. Ooh, that's I do weird. like my stripper pole though. Yeah, it's, it's a, a support, support beam. beam. Don't no, <laughs> don't freak it's, out. It's, no, I have one too in my basement. Grady a is a uh, is a seven foot. No, sorry, um, six, six, six foot, foot six two. two. I'm not seven foot. No, you're, oh you're, yeah, you're, let's you're describe what we all two. look like so that they know how sexy we all are. Um, uh, you seen a trash bag before? <laughs> I've been on Magic Mike. <laughs> Jack, uh, Grady is six two, slender, thin faced. What hazel eyes? Hazel. Well, that's my hazel green, eyes, no. dirty brown hair. It's, it's short. He wears a hat all the time. Dirty, well, dirty blonde. Actually, remember he that has ball. no tan. He is like white. He's like he's like a man consisting of nothing but Elmer's glue and uncooked <laughs> cake dough. <laughs> well, uh, okay. Um, they might have a general description because I might work on the stupid drawing, and it might already be there right oh, now. Oh yeah, and it might be. Like <gasps> oh the yeah, cover we should make that the cover the for our podcast. Just us sitting on a couch. I I drew a drawing and it looks like ball. It looks like a. It looks like a. It looks like a. Some kid in kindergarten stuck a crayon up his nose and 
and like took meth and tried to draw all like of us. Snorted it on the page. And yeah, it came, came out to be a drawing. And uh, uh, by the way, Grady is the one that's editing all of this and like putting this channel together. So uh, thank you, Grady. Oh, but uh, you, uh, he made the channel art, uh, the, 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 the yeah, banner we are, art. We all Grady but, a lot. But the one thing he didn't make is he didn't make that pervy chicken. He did not. I made it. that pervy chicken. That'll be in the picture too. Yeah. Yeah, but I made it. The pervy okay, chicken in the picture is it was made by. You can probably see it right now if you're if you're on YouTube anyway. If yeah, like whatever. Sound is, We really we don't do. have a SoundCloud. Huh? Well, we, we will. Oh no, we mean we have to spend two seconds making a SoundCloud account. I thought, I thought like you're right. This is over. I've never been on SoundCloud ever. All uh, I know is it's for like Android. How or do you like that. how do you upload shit to like iTunes? Like because uh, like you can put we're you not can, we're not good enough no but series. you can like put podcasts up yeah yeah you, yeah, you can do whatever it's fine you should do that it'd be cool oh uh, whatever put this up on iTunes it'd work. yeah but I mean YouTube is also an easy platform for that that's not really for podcasts yeah no you can yeah. all right well going back to uh going back to the uh, whole voice acting thing uh, what did they have you do there like did they make you do any voices or yeah um well what they did was the um. They gave he um uh, so the guy who was freaking fantastic such a he was a really freaking like delightful man yeah like a great voice and he like he gave a seminar God was it, he was talked it about he? everything he reminded me of um Frank Welker Frank Welker I don't know if you know him I know a bunch Did of voice actors not? names he's uh Fred I know he no. does the voice oh. of um Fred from Scooby Doo he was in the real Ghostbusters he did most of the Smurfs. He that's sweet. He, 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 no, I don't know if it was really his voice, but he looked like Frank Welker. So it wasn't like deep, but it was. No, 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 no. He had, he had, he had kind of just like a light, kind of pleasant voice. Right. Like a, yeah. <clears throat> he was articulate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said. And he gave a seminar. And let me, he, he was a, he was a funny, he was a really funny guy. And he gave like this great seminar that went into like, insane amounts of detail on how to do like everything and yeah it was great no i i, I read about sesame street zach <laughs> oh you did i read about sesame you should know did this since i told you or were you just like more enthusiastic when you did it like, i didn't know because like everyone was doing these i mean they were everyone else there at the class was good but they were all doing like i was the only person who went in there wanting to do cartoons right because i want to do cartoons i mean i'll do a freaking ebook if it pays the bills but i want to do like cartoon voices and i was the only person in there who who didn't want to do like documentaries and and like um audio books and stuff so everyone chose right. like these they have like demo yeah. scripts and everyone chose like these stuff. yeah everyone chose like these ones where it's like you know in africa all of the animals roam free and at in 1955 bill gates bought his first computer you know and all that crap right, right. Computer. and now i'm so i'm looking through it and i'm like there has to be one in here that's like not boring and i found a script with a fake ad for this weird like sesame street funhouse thing <laughs> so I, I went up to the mic and i'm that's nervous crazy. as balls because i've never i've never right. done anything and i'm like how the hell am i supposed to say this and he's like say it like you're like Think about toy ads and just think about how like energetic and stupid those people sound because <laughs> he, and he, cause he was like, yeah, and he was like, because the point of a toy ad is to excite the child about this enough. So they'll be like, mom and dad, let's go, let's go get the Sesame Street, let's go get the Sesame Street Playhouse. You know, that right. crap. So he's like, just be like an exciting asshole. So I was just like, hey kids, let's get the Sesame Street. And it was like, it was balls. Yeah, that where sounds you like that thing where you like start and then you laugh and then you like have to redo it like five times before you actually get halfway through it. Actually, I only had to restart once because I because it was you, because I thought it said wiggle, but it's actually wriggle through stuff. So I was like, I, I fucked up. <laughs> so yeah, I read Sesame Street. That was a boring story. Next, Zach. Oh, well, I well, mean, you, well, you told me about like that, like. C was it CDs or records? Oh yeah, the um the hallways. It was it's a mix, mixture of both. The hallways had like millions of like CDs on the wall with like some albums on top. And I was like, oh, what is this? Why are there so many CDs? And it's like, these are all ones that were recorded at this studio. It was Edge yeah, Studio. Yeah, Edge Studio. Edge Studio. That's, that's oh, I'm thinking about going to Omega Studios, which had uh, something similar to that. What was that? 
think about going to Omega Studios, uh, doing some Omega Studio. Yeah, they had what similar is... stuff there as well. Um, do they, that, what, do they do voice like acting a... stuff? No, they don't do voice acting stuff, but they do like what was music. music. Yeah, music it, it, it's oh, cool. sort of. I mean, it, it's a trade school of, I guess, of sound. They do like um, trade school. Ooh. Yeah, well, they they do like a uh, um, sound boards and then oh, so like live setup of music. Do, there. do they do like audio engineering kind of like stuff? Yeah. Yeah, like like manipulating sound, like making the Reaper yeah. sound yeah. effect from Mass Effect. Yeah, 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 and then also oh, like yeah. uh, awesome. um, sound effects for movies, <laughs> games, uh, stuff like that. Audio engineering is probably like one of the most fascinating things I've ever seen. <laughs> it's like they have this giant warehouse full of random tools and gadgets, like random stuff that's completely unrelated to anything they're doing. But right. it's the noises they make, <laughs> and then they take those noises and they just kind of ma- manipulate it and then have like a speaker that they play those noises through and they use like a shotgun mic to like wave it around so you have like a three-dimensional sound kind of thing oh that's cool going on it's it's pretty badass speaking One of, of the uh most speaking of sounds and manipula- uh, uh, speaking of sounds and manipulating them uh a voice actor's job is to be able to manipulate his voice and the voice is just sound right so uh tristan yes why don't you just give us a few uh few well, of your voices? give me a few of my favorite voices just uh you know just do a yogi bear a yogi I don't even know what Yogi Bear sounds like. Hey, boo boo. Let's get us some picnic type biscuits. All right, all right. There we go. <laughs> you know, Thank that, you. That, that Thank you, okay. world. That was okay. How about a shaggy? <laughs> Do a shaggy. Is, what is this? Do a shaggy. What is this? For, for those this of you who don't shit. know, yeah, which is, is which is everyone but Grady, Tristan, and I. Tristan, for the past, I don't know how long, months. A month. Has been like whenever we get in Discord and just talk, he goes like, "Hey Zach, do a Yogi Bear impression." Like, okay, because like they'll be yeah. like, "No, no his, hey, his there will no, be now do no. a Shaggy impression." His oh, latest no. one is Bugs Bunny. Oh, yeah, yeah, Bugs Bunny. But no, we'll get to that in a second. We'll do Bugs Bunny in a second. Do your best Shaggy impression. <laughs> okay, the reason I let me specify this before I just you know before you lose all respect for me. It's too late. Um, the reason I do the reason I say, "Hey guys, do a voice," is because. It's only because, for some reason, when we're in a Discord chat, like, this is exactly what Discord chat is like. It's just... <laughs> oh, yeah, your expl- explanation of, like, me silent with someone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's just like, it's just like keyboard... It's like, this is exactly... Wait a minute. This is exactly what a, what a Discord chat is. It's literally just... Is that getting picked up on the mic? It, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Disconnect. And that's it. So, so yeah, it'll be like yeah. an hour and 20 minutes of that shit. I'll be like, hey, Zach. Zach, do, do, do a Bugs Bunny. Say your next sentence in a Bugs Bunny voice. And, uh, and. He's trying to liven it up. Yeah, so um, we're trying to liven up this podcast because <sighs> you just did a, a five-minute segment it needs it. about being just silent. So uh, go ahead, do do a do a shaggy impression. Live it up. Like wow! Oh God! <laughs> Scooby Doo, where are you? Is it, I don't I don't remember it's what he terrible. sounds like in the cartoon. No, this is pretty. It's pretty it cool. doesn't okay. sound like that. You know what? Oh, shit. <laughs> Zach just broke everything. It's like the second time you've thrown something of mine on the floor. Oh no, that was your. Well, I get it the fucking together. Uh, well, you know what? You know what? I'm feeling a bit uh, a bit spicy right now. And I, I, would, I would like some black beans and, you know, it's a nice, nice, just some big rice dish. Why don't you do a Jamaican accent for not us? Not doing my, a racist-ass Jamaican accent. <laughs> it's not a racist. Oh, fine. Stereotypical. I'm not going, I am not going to offend <laughs> no, an entire no culture just because, just because our podcast sucks. I think you already inf- offended the well, entire I mean, culture. It, it, oh, it, the entire culture it, of, it, of, of feel... um, sentient bears. No, of just being white. And, okay, uh, all right, Tristan, if it makes you feel any better, white. I don't think any other culture is going to listen to this, let alone anyone in our own culture. That's fair enough. Do it. Yeah, man. <laughs> we be eating the spicy foods, man. The black that is so bad. We be smoking the reefer, man. <laughs> Enough on that. Then. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on from intense racism. Now we'll just go to slight racism. Do your best Bugs Bunny impression. Say the next sentence in a Bugs Bunny voice. Is that I'm racist? I'm not. 
doing. Is there, is there a racist? I mean, what is it? it might be. I don't know. Is Bugs Bird? Uh, is Bugs Bunny like new, like from New Jersey? I think. Yeah, I think he's supposed to have like a Brooklyn accent. Brooklyn. Yeah, what's up, that? I don't know. Don't like Jeff Jack. Try speak into the mic when you do it. I only what? Can I quote Space Jam? Yeah, quote Space Jam. <laughs> this is gonna be. I I apologize. <laughs> Never. I hope no one in my. Uh, I hope well, no one. Help no Scottish one. Accent. I hope no one in my immediate family hears this. Oh, I'm giving this uh, to future Cole. Grady. Um, if you could please um, um, put um. Yes. Um, <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> put I'm, I'm some gonna... um, put some jivey bass over this, uh, so that no one can hear me uh hear me saying this. Please turn up uh, only his mic. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna Five thousand percent. These. Actually, you know what? Just straight up move away from it. I All can't right. do a fucking bug funny. What are you? You gotta do it. Go do it. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Not you know I'm not actually a voice actor yet, right? No, no. Yeah, I, I know, not. but I, I mean, right. if if you just keep that attitude, you never be one. So I mean, you come on. Well, I'd prefer a little training before I just go on a podcast and do Bugs Bunny. Yeah, just do it. Just do it. Fucking podcast. Fine. Here's my Bugs Bunny. Like, what's up, Doc? Like, I'm Shaggy. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> oh. Was that intentional? Like, fuck you. Yeah, it was intentional. Oh, okay, that's good. Fuck that's doing Bugs Bunny. I don't, I don't Gr- Grady had a, uh, had a pretty you know good uh, 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 Scottish accent the other oh, day. Oh, not even close. No, you know, what? Gr- you know what, Grady? I'll do Bugs Bunny if you do Bugs Bunny. Because Zach know, just did Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny. No, no, no. He'll do Bugs Bunny if you do your Scottish accent. Why are we on this subject? Because... I was gonna, like, yeah, I thought, we, I, thought, I thought I was going to have a good time with friends. Where I was going to say, like, oh, I would love to go to your class and clean my jeans, too. And then you were just like... Do a fucking uh, shaggy. <laughs> do, do Yogi Bear. Do Yogi Bear. Hey, boo boo. Hey, boo boo. Let's, Let's get a picnic basket. Let's get us some picnic type baskets. What does boo boo sound like? It's like, ah, oh, Yogi. The, ra- the ranger isn't gonna like this, Yogi. The ranger isn't gonna Why don't you shut your little midget face? You little prick. <laughs> You're a prick in my side. No, but. Oh, but quick, quick question, though. Yeah. Did they record your voice and then play it to the whole class? They did. They did? They did. Was that embarrassing? Yeah, it was really embarrassing. Did any was of them like Was laugh? everyone else just as embarrassed? I mean, everyone liked it. I was the only one who wasn't going up like goddamn... Uh, th- th- I mean, they were. everyone was good, but everyone was like, you know... Were you sitting like next save, to a girl that you thought was like per- really cute? Say 50%. No, I don't just walk into no, a no, class no, no. and be like, mm, who here would I like to bone? No, no, no. Well, yes, you do. First of all, that's just a straight up lie. No, but we're like, were you sitting next to like a girl, and you're like, oh, I just got a cute, and then like you, your voice started playing, and you're like, hey guys, want to buy my stuff? And then the girl's like, uh, uh, slid away from you. Um, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, that has never happened. So would you say that you did good? I would say I've done worse, like this podcast. Like, Damn, like, straight. like my five second ago, Yogi Bear. <laughs> Can you just remind everyone how that sounded again, please? Fucking what? Why don't you go fuck yourself? Thank you. All right, so... Why don't you <laughs> suck a big old type dick? So, Grady, what have you been doing recently? Recently? Oof. And oh, say it as Bugs class. Bunny. I'm not saying it's Bugs <laughs> Bunny. Do it in your Scottish accent. Yeah, fuck you. Definitely not. If you... Do, if you know what? If my, you, my, Scottish ac- my Scottish accent is an American accent where I occasionally roll my R's. That's fine. You know what? I'm, you know what? Is. Then I'll keep it to that. If you do the Sky Jacks, then I'll do Bugs Bunny. But not until then. I don't want you to do Bugs Bunny. You're so not there the we host, go. though. It, it would appear that we're at an impasse. Care. You asked me what I wanted, what I was doing lately, so I'm gonna say right, what I've been doing lately. Yeah, say what you're doing, doing. Animation. Ooh, yeah, Grady's a real good animator. Uh, subpar. Why, why don't you tell best. the good folks who 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 has been who has been uh, mentoring you? Ooh. A, a fine gentleman uh, with gray hair. His name is Chad Stewart. Is it gray? Yeah, he's gray. I thought it was brown. Like, I thought it was like okay. salt got, pepper His brown. hair is brown, but with like... It has like gray, kind of salt Like some of his gray and his, you know, like... Nice oh, like uh, gray. Like pepper and salt. Pepper and salt, yeah. Yeah. It's about, it's like he's got a nice beard and mustache that yeah. connects. Yeah. 
I'm like I'm looking, someone I'm looking at both of you. I'm like so, yeah. I shaved mine. <laughs> yes, you oh, did. We I never, thought it we looked alright. Okay, okay, I thought what we looked like, did we? Oh yeah, Zach looks gross, and I look like an idiot. <laughs> there you go. That's right. mean. Continue. That's mean. What? Continue. Oh. <laughs> Come on. I liked you with the. I, I liked the way your beard was turning. Out. I like. You should have given it a little bit. No. To grow out. My whole family I said I look like a rapist, and I was like, "Well, you know, maybe if that's the thing." Even my think, my mom I, I came up it, to me and she was like, "So when are you gonna shave that?" And I was like, "I was like, come on, doesn't look that." Did she buy you like? No, I fucking I bought um biotin and um vitamin. So it would, like connect better or something like that. Right. Well, it helps. Um, because I I saw my I saw my beard coming shave. out, and I was like, "Okay, this isn't working," so I shaved it. And then I was going to regrow it with biotin and vitamin B, which are things that help it grow and help it, you know, look better. And I was growing it out and it was, it was going fast. And then my mom came up and she was like, well, that looks really bad. And I was like, wow, thanks, mom. And I was straight like, I'm forward. sure it doesn't look that bad. And my brother was like, you look like a rapist straight up. And I was like, <laughs> and then and I went over to Zach and Zach was like, oh, it looks great. And that's when I knew I shaved it. <laughs> and then I said, that's when I shaved it. <laughs> Oh, Zach, Zach think is, thinks it's good, so I'm just going to shave it now. <laughs> so, uh, I, I guess uh, from all that, you can tell that I, I, I'm the only one here with facial hair? Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, that I'm rapist in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, uh, in the couch picture that Grady's going to finish. <laughs> Everyone looks like a rapist that's, in that uh, That's me. <laughs> by the way, by the way, uh, I want to point out that that's not just... Um, that, that, that's, not Grady, like, that's not Grady's drawing. Like He took Tristan's drawing, which is... A Balls. lot worse than whatever you're gonna get after that. What if it's that? not actually on Great. the the cover? No, no, it has to be now. It has, it to, has now. to be. It has to be now. Yeah, we, there's so, no uh, way. So, uh, so th- th- what you're seeing right now uh, is Grady's work at trying to get this to look better than the original. It does though. It still it probably looks like garbage. Gra- I was like, Grady has impressed me immensely with like the, some of the stuff that he has made for this channel. Um, and well, I mean, you, that, you, well, know, the, you know the saying for for your art, right? Um, you can only polish the, the saying, turd so much. What? You can only polish a turd so much. Yeah. Um. No, but Disgusting. yeah, no, but you went into like Photoshop and like, cause like I looked like shit. And lines were everywhere. I don't even know what Zach you used was. Paint. Yeah, I used I'm MS so paint, paint and like this drawing pad that I've ha- I haven't used at all. And it looked I like have the drawing pad too. It looked like I, balls. It is hard as fuck. It's hard this. to use. It is. But no, you you're making it look. He, it, it'll look like crap, but it's not Grady's fault. If anything, it it would even look like, it would look like even more crap if not for Grady. So thank him for that. Why don't you? Thank you. Thank you. Um, no, but those those drawing pads actually, I really right. want the ones with like screens on them. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Cause like I can I can sit I can draw a little like kind of good on paper. I I can't draw worth shit anyway. But, um, so, so like, I, I really want, like, the Intuos pad, but it has, like, a screen on it. It's exactly the same as the thing up there. It's just, like, a little black pad, and it has, a, like, a touch screen thing on the left, like, a circle thing that you can swap through tools with, and then a big screen that you can draw on. But, like, everything just looks like complete garbage right. when I draw on that. Awful. But uh, I, I can use the pen tool on Photoshop. But uh, back to the original question, animation. <laughs> We've only yeah. gotten to like we we went completely off topic on both of these. Yep. Yeah. Um. These tell questions. us tell us about the delightful man who who teaches you animation. Uh. He's he's very very nice. Like I said, he has a beard, and it's gray now. Just and it connects. Do you not remember his name? Chad Stewart. Chad. I said his name. You didn't say Chad his name. You just were like, oh, he has a beard and he's brown. Yeah. yeah, he's a professional, professional animator. Great he's worked animator. On, like, Disney and he's, he's worked on Surf yeah, Up. He worked on like yeah, some, he worked stuff. on like I think um, he, American Tale. I think yeah, I don't. Know. I think he uh, a he, little bit on a... Mouse, the Mouse Detective, uh, uh, Polar Express. Zach has stood up. Zach is up. He's stretching. He's on he's a stripper stretching. pole. <sighs> that was yeah, that was I'm him blowing he's, his he's load into a fish. He's stretching out his legs. Uh, just trying to get close to my best friend uh, over here, Tristan. He's on my mic. He's now Help on, me. Oh, oh, and on Tristan's mic. Uh, uh, Tr- oh, this is oh. going to show up on cold cases in a few days. Yep. By the way, this this podcast is uh, 
makeshift. makeshift. Oh, this podcast is brought to you by no one because no one's no one is stupid enough to sponsor us. Our mics. All right, now he's on. Now he's next to me. Hey guys, how you two inches from my face. Fairly uncomfortable. Hey. Your beard is touching my face. <laughs> this this podcast brought to you by X Hamster. Branding. Because you just, just want to watch porn. God damn it. God. Mm. Grady, um, I didn't want to say anything on the podcast, but it's not looking like you got my text, so I'm just gonna have to bring it up. Um, what is the restroom situation? Yeah, uh, down here. Would you uh, fuck? Are you playing the piano? In the room. Here. Get back here. We're doing a podcast. No one wants to hear you play balls, Zach. Inspector Gadget. Zach. No one wants to hear your shit Zach, version of here. Inspector Gadget. That did not that's it. He knows how to play Inspector Gadget. And dust in the wind. He does. That's all, that's all he does. I'm gonna eat top three. He doesn't know how to play that on the room. piano. Your hand smells like shit. Right <laughs> so um. Your hand smells like a This podcast crash took door. a turn for garbage. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I actually... That big-ass Great Outdoors cup is uh, going through me like a RPG through a mattress. It's only water. It is actually just water. It's just water. Just, just water. water. It's just water and uh, no heavy roofies. alcohol. No roofies. It's alcohol. We're drinking. We're drinking straight up Oh, yeah, whiskey. we have food. Oh, yeah. He's eating pizza. I think that might be bad by now. Please actually tell me where the bathroom is, or I will just piss. <laughs> it's over there. We'll, okay. we'll take a no, no, I'll go. Uh, no, 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 no. I can just go. No, no, no. Hey, guys. We're all back here. Tristan took a pee on Grady. It was weird. It was weird. Yep. That's uh, not, not what happened. happened. We're all back now. I actually just took a normal pee in his amazing, like, bathroom. That doesn't look like a rapist dungeon. You're right. It doesn't. My this my... No, I don't have pink. Fuck yeah, this you... Oh, no, you didn't. I didn't ruin you, Peter. No, because I have, like, a nasty storage room, and then it... You walk into the bathroom, and it's all Yeah, cleaning. it's so, like... I was, like, expecting, like, rats <laughs> with uncontrollable diarrhea like to be just, popping just out of the sink. And then it's, like, this, like, really floor. nice, like, marble bathroom and crap with, like, it's lights and shit. The guy who made that is the worst... Worst, like, contractor or carpenter or whatever... Ever, we've had like fifteen different problems in those bathroom in that bathroom, and five of those problems have been in the shower alone. So it's awful. Everything's breaking in there. Hmm. You can't even use the shower anymore because it just leaks through the, the uh, tile. Wow, what a piece of shit! Mm-hmm. Talking about your contractor, not the shower. Yeah. Hey, if if you're if you're Grady's contractor and you're listening to this, uh, fuck you. Come yeah. fix his shower, bitch. Yeah, Julio. It's not his name. It's not his name. <laughs> wow, I was racist. Wow, yeah, man. Come on. Saying all Julios are your contractors? Jesus Christ. All our contractors Although are bad on the, uh, he, wa- he was from uh, uh, somewhere in the South America area. Yeah. So, Texas? Yeah, Texas. New Mexico. That's not about it. Florida. I think you guys need Detroit, a, Arkansas, geography, London, London, Maine, um, South, South America, the Upside Down, um, Baylock Five. So, um, anyway, getting uh, rid of that conversation because Tristan uh, just chucked that conversation in the garbage. Yep, that's what I did. Um, Tristan, yeah, you cosplay a lot, right? Uh, yeah, I have done it. Yeah, what do you cosplay as? Uh, a lot of shit. Cosplay as Luigi, but I was 11, so I can afford to be embarrassing. Oh, that's cool. Grady, what have you cosplayed as? I've never cosplayed as anything. I mean, I don't get it. it's Halloween. He's flipping me off, but I don't get it. I think I was supposed to be offended, but I don't really... I'm uh, not. Uh, I didn't I really want... Was I, was, I think it was because Tristan was being very bad at describing what he's cosplayed as. Yeah. I wasn't... I wasn't. I didn't come out of the bathroom, and he was like... I was like, oh boy, I hope Zach brings up my cosplay. <laughs> Oh yeah, what my cosplay. You cosplayed as. He flipped me off. He's a no, dick. Not. Yeah, you are. Okay, now you're not, but you were. Oops. I think he's just mad because he has the no, worst I've mic. Never, I never cosplayed as anything. I mean, of course, it's Halloween. That's not really cosplay. I don't. I don't dress up as characters. I've never been to Comic Con. He flipped me off again. So, I've only been to one convention that was PAX. Oh, how PAX was that? South, and it was pretty. I mean, it was, it was probably the smallest packs throughout the entire year, huh. but it was pretty fun. I mean, I got to know new things. Like, uh, I don't know if you know the game Cluster Truck. 
They do not. Uh, it, a lot of people do. I don't do you, Zach. You know what Cluster Truck is? The game? No. No? It's like a, it's a fucking awesome game where you like hop around on top of trucks to get to the goal, right? And if you right. press the ground, you die. Obviously. That's cool. And, uh, it, oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the obstacles get like super crazy and everything. I actually got to go see that game before it was released. Oh, cool. On anything. Cool, cool. So that they like announced it at PAX, I think. I think, I think that's what it was. I might be completely wrong, but I'm fairly certain that it was like, they had like a demo there and uh sweet one guy was like fucking hogging it for an hour <laughs> so that was great was it a youtuber no no there were i, I mean there might have been youtubers there but none that i knew cool so. well what about you tristan what about uh what have you cosplayed you as? cosplayed i a um, lot a yeah lot. besides luigi I did um, a Mega Man for Comic Con uh, for oh, New York Comic Con 2014. That's pretty cool. So, um, wow. <laughs> so uh, that's pretty cool. Never mind that. <laughs> I just spent like five minutes trying to figure out what you were uh, cosplaying as, but I'm gonna breeze by that now. Yeah. So no, like you, you you've done like Mega Man and and uh, let me tell you what you've done. You've done Mega Man, Luigi, Batman. Yes. No, I never cosplayed Batman. Oh, you did on Halloween. That doesn't Halloween That's doesn't not, count. Well, no, because it was counts. like it was like. A but that wasn't that was a pretty awesome fucking costume. Thank you. It actually wasn't. That so great. like Mega Man, Luigi. Yeah. What else? Thought you were gonna tell me, bitch. I did. I told you <laughs> Mega Man, and Luigi. I've done more. What have you done? Joker. Mm-hmm. What else? <laughs> We're having technical <laughs> arguments. That's Tech uh, arguments. that's it. Oh, Batman, Joker, Luigi. I haven't cosplayed as Batman. Oh, fuck you. So, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to swear. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I don't know how to segue into S- this. So, speaking of, wait, speaking of pot, uh, the cosplay. Right. Uh, and uh, conventions, uh-huh. uh, BlizzCon. I was just gonna bring that up. I was, yeah, I was, yeah. yeah I went to BlizzCon, twenty uh, fifth uh, anniversary of Blizzard, twentieth anniversary of Diablo, and the tenth BlizzCon. Uh, it was November fourth through the sixth, or fourth, yeah, fourth through the fifth. Sounds pretty bad. Like yeah. yeah, it was. It was really cool. Got to meet a lot of people there. Got to do a lot of cool things. Um. I got to play the Necromancer for the Diablo 3 uh, game oh, before damn. anyone else could. Necromancer. Yeah, it was pretty I thought cool. he was already in it. Nope. Oh, it's Diablo 2 he's in, oh. not Diablo 3. I've only, I've, I've played Diablo 3, but I've only played it like a little bit. Ah, uh, it's a good game. Yeah, my play. sister's house. So, it was like for 30 minutes. I played as some like weird voodoo guy. <laughs> no, the witch doctor. Which doctor? I yeah, he was the necromancer. No, because he like summons people. Yeah, things. Yeah. Well, they, they they went into the whole thing of like, what's the difference between a necromancer and a witch doctor? It was like, oh, the necromancer may summon like evil people and like zombies and skeletons, and the witch doctor could do that, but the witch doctor is more lighthearted because he has an ability which turns him into a chicken and then he explodes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I did hear about was, it. Someone turned. Why was that structured as a joke? Actually, no. That was that was you. Like we were, like, dissing a funny. Diablo or something like that. And you were like, "Oh, can that can your game your character in your game turn into a chicken and explode and live?" Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no. Oh, we were talking about Sonic, I think, because Tristan over here has a huge, huge, huge love for Sonic. I uh, do. I love Sonic. Huge boner for Zon- Sonic. I love I'm Sonic. trying to keep this PG, so. I'm not. Piss off. Hey, if no, you're a no. kid, go fuck yourself. No, seriously, go learn how to fucking masturbate, you God. piece of shit. That's uh, all right. All right. <laughs> Turning away from there. Too much. <laughs> fucking it's FBI. It's gonna be PG-13, you little shits. All right. So anyway, Tristan, you foul-mouthed son of a. Said PG-13. What is this for? fucking Shrek? Fuck PG. Go fuck yourself. I'm pretty sure Shrek was PG-13. One of the Shreks was PG-13, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. But anyway, you have a huge love for Sonic. I which do. Which is absolutely stupid. Wow. Yeah, yeah it is. It's almost, as, it's almost as stupid as actually spending money to actually go to BlizzCon, which is just a fuck fest of loneliness. I thought it was pretty cool. You cosplay as <laughs> Mega Man oh, sorry, sorry. at Comic-Con. You had the Although, balls to not is... wear a mask at BlizzCon. Yeah. 
That just shows how much you I was showed like your baller, you showed right? your face I, I, at I'm BlizzCon. Half certain they paid uh, most of the people to go to BlizzCon to go to BlizzCon and dress up. <laughs> oh, probably. I'm fairly certain they're from like probably. They're, they're yeah, from, like, I just imagine like everyone who went to BlizzCon or, was just like, like floating there like Fred Flintstone with their dicks out, <laughs> just because they saw like photos of like they looked up BlizzCon. It's just a bunch of like women dressed as like. Overwatch with their boobs out and shit. No, no, no. But like, there, there are a few people there that that uh that were like, you, you know, when you see someone who's really big, like not not me big, like because I'm I'm you know two forty six, so that's that's like oh oh yeah, that's that's the way you can live your life, I suppose. But you know, people who who are like who are like really big, like four hundred yeah. plus. Yeah. Yeah. And you just see them and you go like, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. And you just feel so bad for them. Yeah. There's maybe like three of those people there. There's some people I Jesus. don't feel bad for though. Well, no, there's there, there, there a guy. There's a guy there at the Weird Al concert at the end because Weird Al played uh, the closing concert for BlizzCon. Absolutely amazing, by the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, we went there and I, I was walking around and I was going back to my seat and I just saw him there and he wasn't he wasn't the biggest guy I've seen but he was definitely a lot larger than I was and, uh, and still am and he's a large gentleman. Or woman, I couldn't really tell. But in, the point is, they were just so sad. Like, like it, it was the end, and then like people would walk by and kind of glance over and see them and kind of do like a double take and go like, "Whoa!" And then I like, walk past. Yeah, and and you can just like see in their eyes like, I want to kill myself. And I was like, "Holy crap! I just learned your life story by walking past you. I'm not gonna do anything to help you." I also but learned wow. that you don't wear deodorant, but. Hmm? Yeah. Actually, no. Um, I <laughs> total topic change, but well, kind of. Uh, I was in the I, w- I was in the subway, right? And mm-hmm. there was a guy who was of the overweight side of things, right? And uh, he was, you know, he was like sitting on uh, the concrete bench on the side of the subway, and he was just sitting there. It was fine, but then I walked by him. And there's this bubble around him. And it was like the worst stench I've ever heard. I wouldn't like I actually started to hate him because of the stench. <laughs> it was awful. And like my nose was just like bleeding. Connected to my eyes and my eyes just rolled back. I was like, oh god, run away. <laughs> nice, awful. nice. But BlizzCon. Yeah, but BlizzCon. That's all I wanted to say. How just, bad did BlizzCon smell? Like uh, it's not bad sorry. actually. It smelled like any other convention. So pretty bad. Actually, I wouldn't know. I've only been to BlizzCon. Uh, smell like? No, it, it it was actually very pleasant. It was a very. Did, how was it, or how did it smell? How, how did, did it smell? smell? I thought I thought you said smell. All con- none, There's no such thing as a convention that smells good because it's a bunch of people hot as balls crowding around this giant convention center. It gets worse. And usually the air conditioner breaks. It, and no, shit. no, no. It gets worse in packs because they have a LAN party room, and there's like. Like 300 computers in one room, and it just oh my god, it was so hot. No, but there was like no air conditioning, and all the computers running like ejecting heat around the room. Here's here's, awful. here's the thing though, um, in BlizzCon, it was very, very cool. Like, it was in Anaheim, right? So, like, outside, you'd be like, and then you go inside, and not only like you, you walk inside, and you hear this like this epic like World of Warcraft music, right? You walk in, and like, bah, 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 and like, you're in BlizzCon, yay! But not only that, it was like really cool in there. No, when you say when you say Overwatch cool, cosplay. you mean temperature wise. Yeah, and, and yes, because it wasn't cool <laughs> as in uh, looking around it was, stuff. It wasn't cool at all. It was like, amazing it was looking around <laughs> stuff, is what it was. No, but it was like it was cold enough that I would like keep my jacket on and I felt like perfectly fine. And you have around. that cool over. I would, I would imagine too. in a place like that they would be very they would take their air conditioning very seriously. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. But it, it, it was pretty cool. When you can't drink some of their water. Cause it was in California, right? Hmm. It was in California. Yeah. 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 I think a lot of places you can't drink the water there. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah. So mm-hmm. it, it was pretty cool. Although the opening uh, announcements, because like, they have like an opening ceremony the first day, like at like twelve or something, even though the convention hall opens at nine, and then the closing ceremony, which is Weird Al doing his his jam, which is cool. Yeah, which is really cool. By the way, Weird Al, almost like 50 or 60, I want to say, one of those two. I thought he... And, and um, he, every time he did a different song, he changed costume. 
and like and, and like he, he only gave himself like maybe 30 seconds to a minute to change costumes so like one time he like changed and got into like this fat sumo suit with like like leather all over it. It was like, oh, it's really. Jesus oh, if you have, you have the opportunity, I don't even know what weird that looks go, like. Go watch. It's, it's really fun. But um, the the opening ceremony, um, it was pretty cool uh, and stuff. But one thing I didn't like is that there were no new announcements for uh for World of Warcraft. Uh, I think this is the first. Everything was like about like Overwatch and all that, right? Well, it, it, uh, the two big things were the Overwatch League, which is now the esports of Overwatch, which is going right. to try to be on uh on actual TV and they're pushing really hard for that to get get esports the same recognition as actual Over, sports. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which I think I is really know. cool. I think that's really cool. But then uh I really like esports. The, the the other thing uh, that they were pushing really hard was Diablo because it's the 20th anniversary of Diablo. Oh, um wasn't it an anniversary for like maybe it was maybe I was just thinking of the Diablo thing, but wasn't it an anniversary for Blizzard itself? Yeah, because I remember it's the 25th anniversary of Blizzard, 20th anniversary of Diablo, and 10th BlizzCon. Because I remember you said um, you sent that link and you were like, "Here, watch the uh, watch the opening ceremony." Mm-hmm. And I remember I thought it was it was cool because they was. had like that video where it's like, "Let's make the next 25 years together." Yeah, it was kind of cheesy at the end of that. <laughs> well, it was also kind of cheesy. Um, they, so Sombra was announced at BlizzCon, which is Overwatch's new character. And she like hacks and is like a hacker and stuff. Sombra. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. The entire time, like, there's been like this huge, like, like rapid, like, uh, wild goose chase uh, for for Sombra, right? So, like, they 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 would give like small hints, like, I, I when Overwatch was first announced or whatever about like her, and then like throughout like all that time until like now they'd be dropping more subtle hints, and then there's like timers counting down, like all this stuff, <laughs> and after the opening ceremony. They went back to the announcers and the announcers talked and did their thing for a little bit and they came back and Mike Morheim, who's the uh, owner of Blizzard now, uh, was talking and was like, now let's look back at the uh, at, at the launch of Overwatch. <laughs> like, that's how he, this is how he talks. <laughs> Hi guys, Mike Morheim here. Uh, this is really how he talks. Is that exactly? Yeah, that is. He, he talks, he sounds like he's so happy and just like unaware of everything around him. Sounds like he needs Tristan's voice acting class. <laughs> so he, he was like, let's watch the launch of Overwatch, guys. And he was like, oh, okay. And so so it, at first we thought it was like, oh, it's a sentimental like Overwatch video, right? And it was like... Has it only been out for a year? Yeah. So it, so it, it, like, it came out, like the video came out, and it was like, oh, no, the launch of Overwatch. You see that this map, it shows everywhere that the game is going to be launched. And then like, you see this screen and how it's filled with everything. That means the game isn't working right. And then it was like, it was fixing all that. And then the video would glitch out a little bit. And then like the video continued to play for a little bit. And you're like, oh, hey, look at all these people cosplaying. And then it glitched out a little bit more. And then it just started like glitching out. Like, the video itself was just glitching out. And then like the, in the middle of it, like the Sombra logo appeared and they like, zoomed in. Mm, and yeah. then it w- and then it went to the cinematic of Sombra. So that, that was pretty cool. That's pretty sick. Um, that sounds awesome. But yeah, uh, also th- they announced two heroes for um, for uh, uh, Heroes of the Storm. It's a have you guys played like League of Legends or a MOBA type game like that before? Uh, I've never uh, played League of Legends. League of Legends, but I had a friend who was obsessed with it who tried to make me play it, but I was kind of all right. So, had so no idea what I was doing the entire time. So uh, imagine a League of Legends s game, but like you don't buy items, you don't like gain new skills, but you gain like talent, so you can choose different things that and you. The same character can play completely different uh, based on what you choose. It, it's the same type of game, a MOBA type game, but it, it's with all Blizzard characters from like Overwatch, Diablo, StarCraft, World right. of Warcraft, the, uh, uh, all that stuff. And um, even Lost Vikings are in there. And uh, they, they announced two characters, two new characters there. And uh, one of them uh, people liked, uh, unfortunately, Varian Wren, the... Uh, the alliance leader, the uh, scumbag of the earth, as it sounds. Oh, he, oh, he's a filthy alliance dog, is what he is. All right, he was a crappy character. He was terrible, and then he just died. And then they're like, "Oh, well, he died, so we'll give him like a, a tribute into the uh, into the nexus, and he'll be a he'll be a new guy that you can play as in here." And then you just play it. He sucks. He sucks. He just straight sucks. He just sucks. He's a bad character. He never did this? anything. World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. Oh, he was from World of Warcraft. And then in World of Warcraft, he died. And then they were like, oh, we'll give him in Heroes of the Storm. Because it's like, you yeah, play him there. And he, he, he was a bad character with bad lore. He sucked at what he did. He was a crappy king. 
How can you play at them if he's dead? Is this a controversial topic? No, yes, technically. But everyone who doesn't agree with me is stupid. Oh, jeez. <laughs> But the other one that they announced that everyone liked was Ragnaros, the Fire Lord. So basically, in World of Warcraft, they're like, like imagine like elemental planes almost. So like the water elemental plane, earth, fire, water, right. wind, all that stuff. So mm -hmm. Ragnaros is the one of fire, and he's like this giant magma volcano dude with like large horns and sounds badass. And he he was like a when you think of vanilla World of Warcraft, so no expansions. You think of him as kind of like the main end boss, even though he technically wasn't. Right. So they brought that back into into this, and when uh, an enemy hero kills your tower, which is a, a unit like a building that you have that you know part part of the game, you can uh, take over that tower and become a giant raid boss, and then like kill everybody around you, and like you actually have to like do mechanics and stuff, and That's it's kinda... it's pretty cool, yeah. And they, they also uh, last BlizzCon they announced a character. That's uh, called Cho'Gall, which is a, a two-headed ogre. One's named Cho, and the other head's named Cho, uh, Gall. And two players control them. So the one guy? The one guy. Like and Pacific Rim shit. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the thing is that that, 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 was a, uh, that was kind of a callback to, uh, to a Easter egg. Cause, uh, in WoW, uh, when uh, it's April Fool's Day, right? Uh, the, mm -hmm. the Blizzard releases all like patch notes for April Fool's, and it's, a, it's like silly just jokes and whatnot. And one of the ones when they first started doing this, and before it was really widespread that they were doing like uh, April Fool stuff, is they were going to introduce an ogre race, a two-headed ogre race, that would require uh, two people to play. And when one person logged into the ogre, uh, the other person was automatically kicked off of whatever character they were playing, and were forced to play that character with them. That, that that was the joke, but people didn't think it was a joke. Oh, okay. So All so right. they kind of took that and remade it into Cho'Gall, which is pretty cool. Personally, I agree with that. <laughs> I think that should be what happens. Never played that game, but whatever. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. I played StarCraft. Yeah, it's pretty good for a little bit. I had a month a uh, monthly subscription, but that was back when I had no idea how to play strategy games. Mm -hmm. So I like had no idea what I was doing, but I mean, looking at it now, it looks like a game I would try and play again. I I, I recently recently like uh, last Christmas I got a Legacy of the Void when that came out, and that was a that was a lot of fun. Right. I thought that uh, because like y whenever you do something in that game, it's called like an action. Mm -hmm. Uh, so like when people say like uh they got uh, APM or whatever, it's action right. per minute, and there are people who like do insane like like thousands of APMs per minute. So like in, instead of just like selecting a guy and then going like oh I want this and this and this they like just like mash away at their keyboard and within like five seconds they have like everything built and uh it's it's crazy but uh yeah this con was pretty fun. What about you, Tristan? Have you gone into any conventions recently? Um, what do you mean? Define you like? recently. Well, I mean, like, um, this, this year? year. Yeah, I went to um Awesome Con this year. What's that? It's like the DC. Yeah, it's like the DC. It's like the DC equivalent of awesome of like Comic Con, hmm. and it's really good. Oh, I thought Comic Con was just like all comics. Like, what do you mean? Like, like DC and Marvel and yeah. So what? Like uh, not not not, not DC in like the like DC is in Washington DC. Uh, oh, I thought <laughs> idiot! Like DC comics. I was like, all fucking right. idiot. Yes, no, dang it! It's like no, it's like it's like um, DC's, the, as in like Washington DC's <laughs> version right. of Comic Con. It's DC. it's great. That's where I got my uh, little bastards from. It a little PS One. You got that there? Yeah. There's it a sucks. PS, there's a PS One sitting on. That. Got a PS One, PS Two. shelf here where I've gotten an original just... Game Boy. I've gotten like most of my games at Awesome Con because the prices are great. We were gonna record gameplay, but yeah. But uh, shit okay. sucks. Yeah, shit sucks. Yeah, why don't we talk about that for a bit? No, we were yeah. gonna record gameplay, but it sucks. So I'm gonna give. I'm gonna, Grady's gonna have my Elgato because the game capture for a few for like a week, and yeah. he's gonna try to so like figure shit out. We all own a little piece of equipment for this. Uh, mm -hmm. Tristan has an Elgato ca uh, game capture card. I do. And I have, uh, I have a good computer, I guess. And I have a blue snowball. He has a blue snowball and a beanie. And Tristan and I have uh, mics. We have we have mics that are actually good. <laughs> no, it's a good mic. I'm I, kidding. Yeah, except your your mics are USB, which makes this podcast a little hard to record. I am thinking. But I want. I do. I want to upgrade. 
Yeah. Tristan has a, a blue Yeti, and I have a, a blue Spark. Mine's not the USB version; it's the XLR condenser mic version, I guess. And uh, anyway, we were we tried to set it up so that we could record off the Elgato uh, game capture with our mics, but something happened with the game capture program, and it just broke. It would not work at all. Like no matter what I did, it just would not work. So we just gave up and decided to do this podcast instead. <laughs> Yeah. This is our fallback. Yeah, I like it. I gotta admit, I know this is probably like boring as balls, but I do enjoy podcasting. Well, I don't know. To uh, us in the future, God, way to spill hot tamales, you bastard! That, that's like the fifth everywhere. time that you've spilled hot tamales today. No, like, I spilled them the first he time. He spilled them the first time. I thought but, they were sealed, and I picked them up like, "Ooh, hot tamales!" And I picked them up. It's like, "Holy shit!" Which is weird because you don't even like hot tamales. He wanted them. We were bringing all the snacks over. Oh, okay. I picked yeah, up the goddamn good. hot tamales. Yeah, you know what? Let me let me try one on our podcast because I've never. Had, I think I've had one. They sound gross. Yeah. What are they? Cinnamon? Why are they called hot tamales? They're cinnamon. Yeah, they're, they're like cinnamon. They're, I mean, they're, they're they they took a little bit to. Kick and I don't in. have any outdoor. My outdoor World Cup is completely empty. So if I oh. go into this, it's just gonna be everywhere. Yep. It smells bad. It's not that spicy. I mean, if you, like, stick it on one spot of your tongue and eat them all on that one spot of your tongue, they start to hurt. Oh. Oh. How is it, Tristan? It's like I'm... It's like I... Oh. It's like I bit a part of a scented candle off. Oh. 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 Just swallow it. Just get... It's not, not that, that bad. It's, it's not, not the stupid, stupid jelly bean. <laughs> we had a we had jelly beans. Oh, we had bean boozled. Bean bo- is it? Yeah. Well, that's not actually what it's called though, is it? It's like yes. a Harry Potter thing. It's not, not that bad. bad. It's fucking gross. If you like hot tamales, eat a dick and it'll probably taste better. Wow. Thanks. Okay. Exactly. Like God. Fucking. No, they're okay. Mm, yeah. But I'm going to try and troubleshoot the Elgato over the week. Oh. The entire week. Yep, yep. Trying Gross. to figure it out. Shit sucks, man. Why? It why tastes like you like it? It, it tastes like a decorative thing. You would have gotten it like Michael's. It's, it's fucking gross. Don't eat hot tamales. They're gross. <sighs> He hates pretty much every. He's That's a veget- not true. He's a he's a fucking vegetarian. That's I don't want to be. I want to have chicken. I just. I, I was raised a vegetarian, and I have to meet a goddamn podiat or pediatrician, not podiatrist, pediatrician. You have to go see your gynecologist. I have to go to see my gynecologist. My gynecologist. I want to eat chicken. Uh, okay. Go ahead, man. Yep. So if I ate, if I just ate a straight up chicken, I'd become very ill. I think if most people just ate a raw chicken, they'd also become very ill. No, but I mean, like, my intestines would not actually be able to, like, handle eating enough, like, a lot of chicken. Vegetarian stuff. Yeah. You know what? I'm just eating. (laughs) Yeah. So, fuck you. I'm eating chicken. Oh, God. All right. So, um... I think, You're the host, I think, man. I th- no, I, actually, I think that's about all the time. Yeah, I was about to say. I think that's about all the time we have. Yep. Hour and two minutes. Yep. So. Fuck. You got these sh- you stupid. Wait, well, did you put it on pause for the break? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But I started it late. I put on pause when I oh, peed. Then, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, thank you, everybody. This is uh. Yeah. Busy, thanks uh, so much. Uh, Brominic oh, yeah. uh, oh, really podcast. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, good job. By the way, uh, uh, Brominic uh, is a uh, is a word an archaic word for being. No, you're being. No, you. We don't want ruining the surprise. You're ruining the surprise. Not a surprise at all. They have to Google that shit. Oh, yeah, to find well, yeah. it. Google Google. Uh, uh, no, it's don't ruined. Google it. It's ruined. Don't yeah, don't Google it. Fuck you. No, too late. <laughs> Google it, and then uh, and then you Zero realize if it if you Google it, it means you enjoy horse porn. No. It doesn't. It does. It does not. That's exactly. Google what it, it and then you'll understand. Don't Google it. What is wrong with you? Then you understand Google why we named uh named don't, this. Do not Google name it. This don't Google it. Now nah, Google it. Yeah. Oh, no. Don't Google it. We had a clever. Right. We had a clever thing. Thank and you guys Zach for uh, for listening for tuning in. Ruining it with your balls, you. blizzard shit. <laughs>
It's been wonderful. Uh, we're oh, just been uh, standing here watching Grady try to turn this off.